Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my Finnish 13 by Saint Lucia. And this is a collab with some Scandinavian girls, uh, Danish and some Swedish girls. And since last time the one girl from Sweden has joined us on Instagram. So if you want to check out the other ladies they will be linked down below. If you want to know the background story of this collab. Check out my intro because I have talked a lot about that. Sancta Lucia is a Scandinavian tradition. We chose 13 products because Sancta Lucia is on December 13th. I have finished some products and therefore I will add in some new products because I really want to use up some more products in my collection and I don't think it's going fast enough. So I thought I would roll something in. The one I am most excited about is my Maybelline anti Age Rewind Concealer and last time I was up to here and now it is completely gone. It is a twist thingy with the sponge. It was really really nice and I liked it a lot when I had a tan. This is in the lightest shade, yeah, 01 light and it was too dark for me when I didn't have a tan. So yeah, that says quite a lot about my skin tone but I really really like it in the summertime. I would repurchase it when I get a decent tan because then it's quite good actually. Doesn't seem like finish <laughs> this um, hand gel but it is cracked uh, on the bottom so when it stands up it all falls out of the packaging so I'm calling it done because I don't want to use it when it's cracked and broken, you know. Um, so I didn't take it with me on holiday because it leaked everywhere just before I left. And then I am rolling this out. It is my sunscreen from Obia. Obia? I don't know. I brought this with me on holiday. I'm now right down to here, but I'm rolling this out of the project because fall has arrived here in Denmark and I don't use sunscreen anymore basically and I'm not in the routine with using it at all the sun is not out I will use this again next summer so in April I believe I will bring this out again this is my Swarovskov Liz Hair Repair Daily Oil Elixir and it is my hair oil and I have made amazing progress. I'm so excited about this. So intro first update and now I'm all the way down to here. This is amazing. I didn't expect I would use that much up but I showered every single day on roads when I visit there and I have been very good at using it. And yeah, I'm pretty excited about this and I am very certain I can finish this by December. Then I have my Benefit the Professional and I'm kind of using this every single day. I can't really see where I am. I'm pretty sure there's an air bubble. I haven't used it every single day. I think I'm down to here. <laughs> That's where this is but it is air in there. So hopefully I can have it done and the air, bu air bubble will come out. Yeah. I have been so bad at using this. This is my Benefit Posy Tint. It is a cheek and lip tint. This is just not in my mind to use it every single day because I need to use it before my foundation and when I come to my powder I realize I haven't used it. So I really really hope I can have this in my routine again because I really really need to use it and I really want to have it gone before next year. So it is this pink color and just really want to go on. I have my deep hearted lip balm from Lisbeth Dahl and I have some very very nice progress to show you. I was up here last time and now I'm down to here so I have used a good amount but not enough in my opinion. So I'm basically down to here. I have a lot left but I have three months so I think I can do it anyways. I have my single shadow from Technic and this is just a coppery shade and I have made a lot of progress as you can see in the pictures. I'm using this every second day or so. I'm trying to use it and I really think I actually can finish it. I just need to use it more but I'm really really trying to focus on my Panda palette. Official shadows in that. So this has been neglected a bit but I will try to use it a bit more.
for my two items I need to measure. Firstly, I have my only lip liner and I'm quite excited about this because I actually have used it this month. And I have used a fair bit. So I'm very, very excited about that and I'm pretty sure I can have this done by the finale. Alexandra in this collab, she talked about I could do an ombre lip or something. I have done that and I quite like it, actually. I've used it all over my lips and as an ombre and I quite like it for that, but I will never fall in love with this pencil because it's very, very pale pink shade for me. Then I have my Gush eyeliner and it is just black pencil. I have made very nice progress, not as great as I have hoped, but it is fine. I don't know if I can have it finished though. I have three nail polishes to show you guys. The first one is my top coat from Essence. I am at the same mark. Last time uh, it was completely clear, now I have some gold glitter in it because I have some glitter in my subscription box splits. I don't know how to use, it's some raw glitter, but um, I haven't been using it that much this month. So the glitter has fallen to the bottom and it's quite hard, so it needs, it needs some shaking and stuff like that. But it is very light on my nails, I have it on right now. And I quite like it, actually, this way. I have two glitter nail polish from Depend. The first one is this red glitter thingy. It is kind of at the same mark, just a bit under it, but I haven't used it a whole lot, just a few times on my ring finger. This one, it has amazing progress, I think. I have used it all over my nails as an accent nail and stuff like that. I'm really, really happy about this. I'm not worried about these glitter nail polishes because they go quite quick, actually. Then for the three products I'm going to add in. The first one is a shower gel and it is from Yves Rocher and it is with clementine and spices. If you have seen my Harry Potter Pretty Pan Finale a few days ago, you would have seen I just finished one of these. It, uh, it was in a red tube. Yeah, this is just a brand new shower gel. I have never used it before and it has small seeds, beads, something in it that is exfoliating. So I really, really like this kind of shower gel. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can go through this in three months because I just finished one in three months. Then I have my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is kind of a cheap product, but I don't, I don't have a lot left. It is actually down to here, but I have taken the stopper out and it just keep on going with product. I thought I was nearly done. I'm not. <laughs> oh, I have it in 15 and that is the lighter shade. There is a number 10, but number 15 is actually lighter. I love this concealer, but I need some help to get it done. I might be ambitious, but I'm going to add in this blush topper from my color workshop, I believe. I had it placed in my C palette that I want to use up. I will want it gone by next year, so I really hope I can finish it in three months. This can go rather quickly, so I don't think it is an issue to use up, but I really, really want to try. So that is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you will check out the other ladies down below. Please check them out, they are amazing and they are doing fabulous on this challenge. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. So if you want to check out other videos from me, I have a lot of pretty pants on my channel. So subscribe down below for further update videos and finales and intros and stuff like that. I do a lot of different stuff on here. And if you have any video ideas for me, please let me know down below. And yeah, please follow my social media if you don't already and then I hope you will take care until my next video.